Welcome, second grade parents, to our first evening of Chigara Chumash, our Chumash play that's pre recorded for your viewing pleasures in your home. I hope you're sitting back and enjoying and are ready for the snacks that we sent home with you. So, I wanted to share with you a story. There was a person who was in charge of a very large company. And every morning he had a meeting and he told the people who worked underneath him, uh, he said to them, I have a question for you and I want an answer. So all of these understudies were looking for answers. And every day they came back at the end of the day with different solutions, different in insights. One of the people who worked for him had this little book that he would look to each day when these questions came up. Some of the other ones maybe went to Google, or they went to encyclopedias, if you know what those are, second graders. And they try to find answers. And over the course of a few months, the head of this company realized that that person who was looking at that, that little book was coming with the most insightful, best answers. So after a few months, he went to him and said, I got to ask you, what's in that book? What are you using every time I ask that question? And he said to him, I got to let you know, it's the Torah. It's a chumash. And the person said, what is that? He said, well, it's a book of the Jewish people, and it has their history. It has their halachot. It guides them. So he said, how does that help answer the questions? He said, because in the Chumash and in the Torah, I look for answers of how I would solve problems, how I would figure out solutions. And there's always a message for me. So when you ask me these questions, I look inside the Chumash, and I find certain solutions and certain answers. And the person said, that's a really amazing book. It's a really amazing safer. And I really think that it is true. When I look inside the Chumash, I always find the message that I can share with my students, my families, my friends. It's really a miraculous miraculous Sefer book. Our, my bracha to you guys tonight, the second graders tonight, is that you take this chumash that you're getting in second grade and you use it and you look at it and you use it for a site and you use it for a source of inspiration and a way to answer questions you might have in your own life and in other parts of your life also. I want to wish mazal tov to the parents, the grandparents, all the relatives might be watching this evening also want to say huge, a huge Akarda Toa thank you to Mrs. Motsin, who is in charge of our music program, and music touches us all like nothing else can. She does an amazing job with our second graders. Thank you so much, Mrs. Motsin. Our second grade teachers, Morabat L, Moria L, Moria Dane, Mora Dory, Mora Crystal, Mora Michelle, thank you so much for all you've done to make this program a huge success and every day in our classrooms, a huge success. And of course, to Larry, our videographer, and to Adam Bromberg, who put the whole program together that you'll be seeing in a few moments. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Mazal Tov, second grade.
ושלום לכל האורחים. חלום יפה חלמתי, והנה זה חלומי. בחלומי שמעתי רעש בעולם. השם נותן מתנה לבני האדם. ומה המתנה הזאת? השם נותן את תרצו הקדושה. that when the snake um, pushed Chava to touch the tree, when she um, touched it, nothing happened, and she added on that um, nothing will happen if she ate it, because she saw that nothing, when she touched it, um, happened, so she ate from it, and I learned that you never should add on, and then something might bad happen to you. I learned from the story of the Chava, you should never listen to someone who tells you to break the law because you can get in big trouble. I learned in the story, Adam, uh, that you shouldn't do the wrong thing if somebody tells you to. I learned from the Pasha Adam Vechava um, that you should never trust the snake. Because um, from the Pasha, it's that he, Chava trusted the snake and she got the punishment because Hashem said not to, but the snake said yes and Chava listened to the snake and she got the punishment. I learned that from the story of Adam and Chava, you should never trust the snake if it tells you to do something. Because if it, because you should never trust anybody that tells you to do something you don't want to. I learned from the story of Noah. If all the people are bad around you, you should all, you should be good. I learned from the story of Kain and Abel that you shouldn't be jealous. I like Parshat Noah because it, the lesson is that if everyone is bad, don't learn from them. You should always be the good person. I like Parsha Adam Vehaba because I learned that if someone if someone tells you to do something that you're not supposed to do, you don't listen to them. Because I like that Parsha because it it gives me advice for if people tell me to do something that I don't want to, that I can't do, and and so I shouldn't do it. I learned in the story of Kain and Havel that you shouldn't hurt people and you shouldn't be jealous. The 
if we chain a shamata tora, be is a macum, be is a har. I'm a 
my dad back up at all. I learned not to do something that Sam says not to. Because it's breaking the rules. I learned that even if everyone around you is bad, you should still be good from the story you know of. Because then you might get punished. I learned from Abraham that you should always adopt to accept. I learned that when somebody says something that you shouldn't do, if it's the wrong thing to do, you shouldn't do it. Like when you, when it's a red light and somebody says just go, there's nobody crossing, you shouldn't do it because you might get a ticket. And I learned all of this in Adam and Chava. I learned from the story of Abraham that I learned from Adam and Kava that you should never like keep on adding from the story or lie because it might just make it worse. And how it did it is because is because so Kava told enough so basically she said, I don't wanna eat from that tree. Hashem said no, then the then the Nahash pushed her. Then she was like, hey, nothing happens if you push me. So I guess I can do it. And that's adding on to the story. And then something bad happened. So it wouldn't necessarily be the best choice. Hasipur she'ani hachi ohave batara bu asaret hamakom zekriat yamsu. Asipur am baturasha the ohavet adam dechava began again. Asipur ani achay ohav batura asipur a adam dechava. Asipur ani. I have a Torah and down the cover. Has he poor or have a hat or a has he poor at down the cover?
Vichina Kolo Uber Kim, Vanan Kaved Kaved, the Kolso Far Kazak Kare, the Love Clom Kare. Kol Hashem Kazak, Mile et Alam, El Kri Hashem Al Taka Kara Hashem Laam. For the Im Yom Shalama, Trasher Kibabahar, the Unesha Al Tamasar.
Ostam Khalom Shayita Bani Bar Ki Konis Motenu Amdu Sham Bahar Gamanaknu Shamanu at Kol Halokim at Torato Ki Bangu Vota Odlumdi. To my dear Kita Bet students, Mazal Tov on receiving your Chumash. We were so excited to present you with your first Chumashim this past Sunday. You now own the same Chumash as your parents and grandparents. We're partners with your family in teaching you Torah. And now you can learn from the same Chumash, whether you're 7, 27, 77. You have the same Chumash as the adults in your family. And we're partners together, and we're so proud of you and so excited for you as you now embark on a beautiful life of learning Torah together with us in school and with your families at home. Mazal tov to you. Mazal tov, Kitabet. We're so excited for you, and we're sure that you're going to do great learning Chumash. Mazal tov. We're so proud of you. Mm -hmm. 